What's up, guys? You're welcome to Imacom TV, where we publish news on politics and entertainment. All right, guys. Uh, the North have declared war on on the South, and um, this time around, what they are doing is they are stopping food from going into the South. The video you are watching now has been trending on the internet. It's not today's video. I think it's a couple of days now. It's been trending on on the internet. And this is at the moment where um, the North is about entering into the South through Kwara uh, State. This is going to Niger Bridge. You see, this is going to Niger Bridge. But these people have been stopped from going into the south. Imagine the truckload of food, tomatoes, yam, you know, cows and all of that, you know. They've stopped them from going into, into the south because of um, the south defending themselves against headsmen, you know, atrocities, you see. So this guy decided to stop because they know, they know very well that they are the food basket of the nation. I mean, they're not majority of the food that feeds the south come from comes from the north so they are using this as a weapon that's why i said they have declared war they are using it as a weapon and this weapon is an ancient tactics where a particular community will lay siege to another community or country surround them and block food ask them to surrender if they don't no food will come into them no no coming food, I mean, no food comes into that particular country and that, that's how they starve and die and eventually they will surrender. So that is what we are seeing today. That's what is happening to us today. Just because our people rose up to defend themselves against the menace of of the Fulani headsmen. So I want to listen to this video and then I'm going to be back with more analysis and what led to this and how the South can counter this kind of threat. From here now, yeah, the, Jeba. Jeba, the last village, the last village in Niger State, before you join the the river Niger Bridge, uh, they are stopping, they are stopping trucks. any trucks that any carry truck that food stuff from north. They are stopping them. They are turning them back. They don't allow them to go beyond this place. They are turning them, you can see all this, all this truck. They are carrying food stuff. You can see yam, you can see yam, tomatoes, onions, and many more. They are stopping them. They said they will turn back to the north or offload, or offload it here. This is, the, this is Karageba, the last, the last village, the last town in the Niger State before you enter Kwara State, before you get to. Uh, River Niger. So they are stopping all, all the trucks that carry food stuff from north. They are turning them back to north, or they should offload it here. They don't allow all the all the trucks that carry food stuff. Even the buses, buses that carry pepper, tomatoes, were not allowed to cross. As you can see, they only allow truck with fuel.
All right, guys. So um, the tactics the North is using now in this kind of warfare is they want to wear out the South over a period of time. They want to beat us to submission so that we will now beg them for food. You remember what happened in during the Civil War? How the Nigerian troops were able to back, uh, place blockade on Biafra. What they did was they launched a block blockade, surrounded Biafra, and no food came into the country. No food came into the country, and up to now, uh, what people have not learned from from that mistake, you can see that, in fact, from the estimate of that Biafra war, it was estimated that people who died of um, food, the food uh, uh, blockade, people who died as a result of the food blockade mounted by the Nigerian troop was more than the what bullet killed. People who died as a result of starvation, you know, were more than what bullet killed. And so they are using that tactics and that technique today again. They are using that tactics again. And you know what they did? The remaining food supply we had in our farms, they destroyed it all. They surrounded us. We can't go to the farm. So you may think these people don't know what they are doing. You may think, they, they, I'm telling you, they have a focus, they have an agenda, and they know what they're doing. Last year, United Nations predicted that food, there's going to be food crisis in Nigeria. That last year, that's what they said. And you can see how the price of items went uh, very high before that December. You get, and right now, they are doing the same thing again. And But the truth of the matter is that, are they going to eat their own food? Who is going to lose in this? Do they think that it's only the South that's going to lose? Even they themselves, they are going to lose because their destination and where they make their money from is from the South. They don't make their money from the North, no. They don't make their money. They make their money from the South. And that is why they come to the South to sell their goods and then they go back. But now they are placing this kind of a blockade. How will the South counter this kind of a thing? The only way the South can actually counter this is for the, is for the South to unite and fight for their survival. And that is, take over the forests of the South. Take over the forests of the South and drive away these Fulani herdsmen. That is the only way. And then use the reserve of the forest and begin to start planting immediately. That's the only thing. Secure the forest. Start planting immediately. Otherwise... They are going to use this food blockade as a weapon against us. Thank you very much.